Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. I'm Adriana, and today I'm gonna show you a grocery haul. If you've seen, we had recently moved, and so I'm kind of replenishing our pantry, and I had to do a big Costco grocery haul. Not a huge one, but I had to go and get some stuff. Um, but one thing that I am doing with our food going forward is, and I am trying to find I think it's seed oils, seed oil free food. Um, I've done some research about that and going over just like a little bit of my health, I realized that maybe like an anti-inflammation, not even diet, but lifestyle might alleviate some of the health concerns that I have going on. So I looked into it, I've done some research and so I've found that maybe seed oil could be a huge contributing factor to some of the health concerns that I have. So anyways, everything is all fine, but I'm just gonna change our food a little bit and just go into a seed, um, seed oil free food kind of lifestyle here going forward. So we recently moved, we got rid of a lot of, not rid of, but we used a lot of our pantry goods before we moved, um, just so we didn't have to take a lot of food with us. But also I am trying to build back our food storage. Uh, so that's one thing I like to have. You know, we are a family of six living in California, which is a high cost of living state. But I like to have just like a little bit of extra of stuff on hand. Um, so one of my rules for that is buy one for now, buy two for later. So I'm just kind of slowly trying to build that back. I used to have a good one when I lived when we lived um, before the house we just left. Gosh, I don't even know, but we had to use it all because we moved again and now we moved again. So now I'm just cleaning up our pantry a little bit. Anyway, so here is Costco. I hope you guys enjoy it. I really enjoy doing grocery hauls. Uh, I always think it's fun to see what people are getting, what they're eating, prices nowadays because inflation is hitting everywhere just differently. So, um, Tell me in the comments also if you guys have food rules in your house. Uh, so one of them going forward now is uh, seed oils are a big no-no. Well, not a big no-no because there is a little, little gray area to that. Um, and I will show you in one of the snacks that I got. But um, regular seed oils is a huge no. And you will see that it actually excludes a lot of the other processed foods just going seed oil free. Um, there were some things that were really hard to find. Bread was one of them, bagels, that kind of, those kind of muffins, but I do like to bake, so I have no problem doing that myself. And I can control the ingredients that are in there. So that's helpful too. But anyways, tell me in the comments if you guys have food rolls for your family. Um, one of them being seed oils, and I try to do 25 ingredients or less, and Another caveat to that would be that I have to be able to pronounce all of them. Um, and now it's it's a little bit different, but those are some food rules that we have. I've done plenty of, I've never done full keto, I've never done low carb, but we've done plant-based, I think, a, almost a year and a half ago. And that was great, but um, the food got kind of boring. It was good, it was, it helped with our health, I mean, we could feel the difference, but um, it just just got boring. And then we got COVID and we were just <laughs> hungry coming out of that. So we started eating uh, just some stuff that we normally wouldn't eat and we never really came, came off of that, I guess. So now we're just hitting the reset button. So anyways, thank you for the intro. I hope you enjoy this Costco haul. Okay, so we'll start in the back. This is all of our produce. I also did get some household stuff in here and you'll see that and I'll try to tell you the prices. So we got some organic baby carrots. This is good for lunches and stuff like that and just to eat with like sandwiches. And these were $5.49 for two pounds. And then they had this little tri-pack of um, vegetables, which was asparagus, French green beans and Brussels sprouts. And this was $9.99. We got um, this organic bag of broccoli florets, and this was $5.99, and you get two pounds. We got organic strawberries. These were $6.49 
for, what is this, two pounds, two pounds each. And we're a family of six, so my kids will go right through those. Those were $6.49. Zucchini, I like to eat this with some scrambled eggs in the morning. It helps bulk them up a little bit. So we got some organic fresh squash, and it's good just to grill too. These were $6.99. We got some organic bell peppers. I also put these in lunches. My kids like to eat a lot of their veggies raw, which is, I love it. And I've realized that they don't like them cooked too much. So this was $8.99 for a six pack. English organic cucumber. These were $5.99. And then we got some cantaloupe. We love to have cantaloupe and that's $5.99. Just such a good thing to chop up and have. We got some potatoes and this is I think like the creamy kind so there's like red and yellow and those are $5.99 so I think that's all the produce and then oh you can hear the airplanes flying over the house it's funny we have an airport right across the street um so then we got some of this Rouse marinara sauce for $8.99 that was on sale so I grabbed that uh, maple syrup is something else that we like to have on hand. I grabbed two of those for $11.99 each. I have not been able to find grass-fed butter for almost a month now at our Costco, and we finally came back. These are $10.99, and you get four eight-ounce um, bars, so it's two pounds, and it was $10.99 for those. And so we also got, I'll put this over here. Those are our snacks. Um, but here's one of the things that I was telling you about. So this does have a seed oil in it, but let me show you right here. It says organic expeller pressed sunflower oil. So what that means is that it was harvested in the purest way. Um, I found that if it's just has like a, a seed oil in it, they usually add a chemical compound to it to make it. So that is like my one small little gray area. And there's not too many foods that I, I bought that have this, but, um, you know, we're just switching over the pantry. So we're trying to just get used to some foods and stuff like that. And I don't want to take away all their fun. So we got these any organic cinnamon rolls and we have these on Friday mornings before school or on the weekends and they are 10 89 and we love these. These are really good. And then I don't do creamer anymore. I even my vegan oat milk, almond milk, they have palm oil in there. And that's one of the big ones. So, you know, my husband and I were just going with half and half, half and half in sugar. And so we got a big one for $5.59. And then we do the avocado oil for $12.99. And then we have peanut butter for $11.79. I got some tuna for the kids. This was $12.99 um, for six cans. These are my favorite little snack. Even though they're like calorically dense, these are really good. I like something sweet after I, you know, have my lunch or something like that. And these just are like, the perfect amount. So these are $10.99 for sun-dried apricots. Super yummy. And there is no seed oils. It's just organic dried apricots. So see, I'm just trying to find like some clean snacks and it was really hard. And then we got some chomps. These are delicious. So it's a protein. And then, oh my gosh. And so then trying to find like a cracker or a chip. Oh, good luck in Costco. But I did find these Rustic Bakery Organic Flatbread Bites. And this is made with olive oil. So I used to do almond crackers, but then I found out that they just use sunflower oil in there. So this, you can see right there, is just extra virgin olive oil. So hopefully my kids like those. I have a friend who does no seed oils, and she said her kids really enjoy these. So hoping the same. And then... I got these Annie Bunny Snack Packs, and same thing. They have the organic expeller press sunflower oil. So, um, got those. And then we got some sourdough sandwich bread. It was, it's hard to find a bread with no oil at all. You can see sourdough is just 
you know, flour, salt, vinegar, and all that stuff. So, and they do like sourdough, so that's good. And that was eight ninety nine. Oh, so it was eight ninety nine for these crackers, and then it was thirteen ninety nine for these um, Annie snack packs. Did I miss a price on anything? And then this was eight ninety nine, and then we got these little hash brown potatoes. These are so good. It takes the work out of having to grate the potatoes, and these were eight ninety nine. And then I got myself a um, spring mix. I ho I'm hoping to have some salads this week. And that was $4.99 for, I think, 16 ounces. Love my carbonated water, the Waterloo kind. I think this was $8.99 for that. And then moving on to our meat. Um, I usually get the Kirkland bacon. However, it went down in price, which is fine, but I was looking at the ingredients on it and it has nitrates. And so I'm just trying to stay away from those as well. So for almost the same price as what the bacon would have been for the Kirkland, I found this Applewood smoked uncured bacon and it's three pounds and it was $15.99 for this. So I'm hoping my kids like that. We got some organic chicken thighs, and these were $28.39 for, let's see, for almost five pounds, they're $5.99 a pound. And we got some chicken breast over there, that was $30, and then I got some ground turkey, and I think this was like, to look on the receipt but we got some organic ground turkey and then some household stuff I picked up these Swiffer heavy duty wet cloths we do have one of those big um not big but those spinning mops those spinning head mops gosh the ones that, you know the ones that are popular everybody has them but just for like some quick at night tidying just a quick one I don't need to pull out the whole mop and stuff like that so I picked some of these up and then we got some eggs, and these were $20, so $19.79 for five dozen eggs, and I got two of them. And then we got some scented kitchen bags for $17.79. So let me see if I can find... Okay, I don't know where the receipt is because I was going to tell you how much the ground turkey is. But anyways, okay, so that's Costco. That's what I got. And all of this is obviously seed oil free, including the marinara sauce, which was good to know. If you can see, which is just Italian, whole peeled tomatoes, olive oils, onions, salt, garlic, basil. And this is really good too, you guys. Um, so that is it. Oh, here's the receipt. Okay. So for the ground turkey, it was $17.99. All right, so another thing that is kind of, oh, sorry. Okay, and then lastly, we got some bath tissue. Bath tissue, funny, why would they call that? So anyway, some toilet paper for $20. And that is our Costco haul right there. Okay, so real quick before I sign off here, one thing that when you do food storage or something like this, you need room for it. And this house has a small pantry. So I have to be not creative, but I'm gonna have to use a different part of the house for storage and it's not too different, but um, just so it's also close enough to the kitchen that you can grab it. So anyways, I don't know, that's kind of where I'm at, just trying to replenish our pantry and make sure we have all of our foods and stuff like that, because moving just, we're still recovering from that. It was a lot. Anyway, so if this is grocery hauls you like to see, please like and subscribe, share, um, you know, giving it a like is the greatest compliment. And if you guys have any questions about seed oil free or just in general, go ahead and tell me in the comments 
and um, no budget video. I haven't had time to sit down and do my budget. I'm hoping to do like a Q1 kind of review summary on what we've spent from January to March. And then hopefully in April, I can get um, the budget all set up and start doing my, my weekly check-ins again. But right now it's just moving and trying to get all settled. So anyways, thanks guys for being patient and I will see you guys in the next video.